sneaker review today. Today I have the Adidas 84 Forum Low. The shoe retails for a hundred bucks. Bought it off the Adidas app and it is very nice. I have a lot of good things to say about this shoe. Um, it comes in this off-white cream and red colorway. So it is obviously a very popular shoe this season has a lot of leather on it and then the adidas stripes here are in this nice fuzzy suede the materials on this shoe are very high quality very premium you can see this leather here how soft it is to the touch very nice the adidas 84 form is a little bit more high quality than the regular Adidas form. Um, that one retails for 90 bucks. And it, again, it has leather on it. I'm not sure if the stripes are leather or if they're also suede, it might depend on the colorway. But a big difference between that shoe and this shoe is that the strap here on the 84 model does not come off, whereas on the regular form, the strap is removable. You can adjust the strap here with the Velcro and you have a clip that just goes around. You can wear the, the strap uh, just loose like this, and it's definitely an option you can go with. I've seen some people who want to get rid of the strap, they cut it off right here. And again, it's, uh, it's definitely a personal decision. I'm going to keep my strap on just because I think that's the way. Um, it looks better, personally, and that's just the way the shoe was intended to be worn with the strap. And on the inside here, the lining is a towel-like material. It's very nice, feels good on foot. The bottom here, the traction, you can see it is a lot of circles with the old Adidas logos on them. You have a pivot point here in blue, and it's a very durable rubber. It's not gonna break on you or anything. Very nice to see. And you can see the net right here is the exposed part of the cushion. It actually has a little bit of a little bit of a press to it. So it feels pretty good on foot actually. Not super hard like some older shoes are. And finally the tongue. Just a nice uh, a nice soft tongue similar to what you would see on the Jordan 1. And you have these cream laces to finish it off. Overall, I'm a pretty big fan of this shoe. I think it's definitely for a hundred bucks worth the price. You get some really good material, some really good craftsmanship on it. It's comfortable. It looks good with a lot of different outfits and it's a very low key, simple shoe, but at the same time, the red hits here really stand out on the shoe. It has a nice aged vintage look to it which some people may like, others may not. Personally, I think it's a nice look, and it's a shoe I'll definitely be wearing a lot this summer. So if you've enjoyed this review, please leave a like and subscribe, and uh, stick around for some on-foot looks. Thanks for watching.